Hey everybody, I'm at the Equip Expo. I'm here at the Honda booth. I'm here with Brian. Brian, thanks for having us. Nice they just came out with uh, a complete line, right? A ZTR and ZTR a ZTR and push four, behind? four walk behind mowers. Mowers, cordless, battery operated. I should say battery operated, yeah. not cordless. <laughs> um, Brian, can you walk us through this ZTR? Yeah, um, we have a lot of different new features on here that you won't see in other competitors. Um, for one, we have on our caster, we have a suspension on the front. Oh, and yeah. that helps from the dampening controls. So basically through here, that gives you your first, first yep, cushion. Yep, and then these, these fitting. On the rear, yeah. we'll go back to there later, but there's a, on the trailing arms, there's dual trailing arms with Asimo um, cushions. So the same as what we use for power sports and motorcycles. Oh, nice, yep. For the actual next feature, we also have a spring seat. So that gives you your next suspension that you can change That's your right? torsion. You sure can. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. I expected a little bit of give, but that's comfortable. I Good. can dial it in here? You can dial it in. And then these, are these adjustable? Those bit? are adjustable. There's adjustments on the top and the side. Yeah. And of course, for the lumbar supports, there are adjustments yeah, for Yeah, lumbar. that feels great, actually, in yeah. the small of my back. I just might finish the interview here, if you don't mind. No, you can. <laughs> actually, if you want to stay here, yeah, you go okay. get my model. I'm your model. Here and we I go. I want to show you the next system, which we call the uh, IOPS. It's the Ideal Operator Position System. All right. So there's a lever down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it, and I'm going to pull you. Wow. So what you notice is if you are locked in. That came with me. The controls and the entire seat yeah. is going with you. For our short guys, you have to That's sit right. up front. Yeah, so you can I get yourself comfortable on the feet, yep. and you lock everything in. So you're literally doing everything with two hands now. Um, you're not bouncing around. And that leads you into our deck system. So we have a one foot deck system. Yep, I see that. You can set your height, of course. There's a dial wheel on the back side. That'll okay. set your height. Basically that's your deck button. height? That's your deck height. Okay. And now your foot, this is going to control your up and down. How many settings? Just sorry to interrupt you. How many okay. settings on the we deck? We go height? from 1.5 inch to 5 inch at standard 0 0.25. Standard height decks, increments. okay. And then this is the engagement? This is a This is a release, actually. So we are full up. So if you put your foot and you push this one, this will unlock the can. Well, actually, I, I might have to go higher for my legs here. here no problem. Push this down. That'll lift the deck all the way up. Yep. To release it, you will use your back of your foot to release the can and now drop the deck. Oh, I see how you do it. Okay, that's cool. And if you just want to lock it, just push the first frontal down and that'll come up to a full lock. Oh, that's really neat. That's really neat. I don't know if it locked all the way. It did. I think it is locked up. Said it's on okay, setting yep. three. Yeah. So what that does is when you are in your position and you come to a treacherous path that you want to cross, if you want to lift the deck, you don't need to go to the board. You know that you normally see the pull switch pin or something. Pull pins. Yeah. You don't need to do a release lever. You just use your foot. Keep your hands on the control. Lift up the deck. Just lift it up. Cross go your over obstacle. It. Go yep. over it. Could be a root or something. And when something. you're done, just release it back down with your foot, and you still stay in motion. You never take your hands off the system. That's nice. That's so really it's, nice. It's a very easy ride for you. What else do we have over here? It looks kind of. This is your dashboard area over here, yeah. right? This is the dashboard. So this whole system runs on CAN bus. So all your diagnostics are coming through your display area, whether it's the motors, the motor drives, um, anything from the battery system, anything that comes in from the parking brakes, yeah. all of that's Fuel displayed gauge. through here. Yep. Fuel gauge, your state of charge, your state of health in the maintenance settings. You can go see each battery system to see what it's set at. And all of that's controlled through that. I'm guessing this blade rotation speed, low or high, is for runtime, right? If you have, if you're not cutting, if it's not a demanding cut or something, you, you can, can go, go low to a low speed. speed. Yeah. Uh, and that would increase the runtime. That's right. It what? doesn't change your drive speed. You still have a max of 10 miles an hour. But all it's doing is it's changing your rotation speed only. Key, key uh, on our PTO switch, right? Uh, very, very simple, very common control. What, what kind of runtime would you expect? And I know it's different because conditions are different, wet, tall grass, but <laughs> in your testing, you yeah. did runtime testing, what were you finding? Yeah, for like the 60 inch and the 40 inch, you're going to average around 14, maybe 15 acres or something like that for a total runtime. Wow. On one charge. Oh, I was expecting like five acres. Oh, no, no, no. 14 or 15 acres. So that's going to be a big ass battery. Can you show me it? Um, Where is it? I can't because it's all basically contained underneath so the covers. So it's not something you pull out it's to charge. It's not easily serviceable How do you charge? by yourself as a customer. If you go to our ISD dealers, they can service it because it's you. a matter of 
removing a cover, removing the second cover, and then you're into the battery system. We keep that out of the normal. So it's a plug-in. You plug it in to charge it. Um, it is a plug-in. Yeah. The charge system is located here on the back. It's basically it's another quick connect system. No, no. And it comes, obviously the plug comes with it. Yes, yeah. it's a it's an auto voltage detect system. It either uses 100 to 120 volt system or a 200 to 240 volt for the quick charge. So, so yeah, control. I was gonna ask you that. So um, assuming you have a dead battery or you need to recharge, yep. what, what is the timing on 120 versus 220? On 120, it is a slow timing. It's about 17 hours to get a recharge on Overnight. a 120. Yeah. Okay. So because it's commercial, most people are going to be using the 240 volt four prong or something yeah. like that. Um, in that case, depending on where you left it on the SOC, you can see between like four to maybe six hours or something. Four like to six that. hours. Yeah. Now, um, based on your user feedback and your field research, mm -hmm. this is geared for pros. It's a premium product. What kind of do you, do you see the pros needing to charge this in a day? Or do you see it going to nighttime charge? Well, they need to charge on the go, I guess is what I'm asking. It, it depends on the landscaper. It depends on what they're going to do. If they have a, a machine that's docked and it stays you know, at that source, maybe they can get their job done at one time. And then over lunchtime, they can add a charge to it. They're not mobile. And so say, what you're saying, if they were assigned like a big company uh, facility campus yeah they would dedicate one of these to that campus that's right that's that's one option the other option is as you see in the show many trailers so if they're mobile they're not mowing all the time all day long so right. they're going to be point source one that's right. position two position three position at that point that charge is enough to get through their eight hour days now has, has honda or is honda thinking about charging on the go or offering some sort of a a trailer mounted solution to charge this while they're driving somewhere or um it's it's always on our radar we're always looking at new features and new products on what to do so that's one of the considerations think on about yeah. how do we support the landscaper situations and give them that portability a little bit extra to it so um i'm trying to think what else i missed how many blades size of the tires things like that yeah this is Motor one motors three? this is one very important system to it so as you know from our lawnmower side, we've always had a micro twin blade system. Yeah. We took that same system, our same design and test engineers, and yep. we've adapted that to the ZTR system. So this again it's is our micro blade, right? cut, two blades, yeah. two blades. So you're going to get your, you're going to get your first cut on the grass and knock that tip off, and then your second one's going to chop that into another micro cut. So and smaller clippings too. Yes. So it's a smaller clippings. And it's extremely important for DC anymore because you try to be efficient, you try to be useful with the energy that you have. So three so motors, cut three it blades. You can get it out. out three motors, system. three sets of blades, right? Three motors, three sets of blades, so a total of six blades. That six blades out. total, six cutting. Yeah. Options. And I like how this Six is blades and a total of, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, four times three, 12 cutting surfaces. Now, uh, I'm not a pro landscaper, but if I were, What's the best way to change the blades? You drop the deck, does this thing tip on its back side? Uh, this is goes to about any other landscaper. They usually have some kind of deck lift or mower lift. They go under it and they lift the whole machine up. That's really the easiest way to get the under Easiest here. way to do it? Yeah. We don't have a front pop-up system. You need to basically lift the mower up. Just a regular lawnmower replacement, you take the nut off? The yeah, shaft, yeah just yep. a single bolt in a cup that holds it and then the two blades will come off at that point. Now, what about the gas tank and oil change? No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> with the, small with the muffler. Very small. Um, <laughs> what else, uh, what other features are in here that maybe uh, you might not see from the outside that you guys engineered okay. in here? Okay. Kind of like the secret sauce stuff. Is yeah, some of it's a little bit from the serviceability. Okay. So for us in dealing with our customers and dealing with our ISD dealers, we want to be able to support them, of course, as much as possible. Yep. So. For this design, we actually, when oh the plate God. is removed, wow. it gives you easy access to all the blade motors. So Plug, Unplug them and remove them. Yeah, so to. say something happens to the middle blade. Yep. It's a matter of removing the blade on the bottom, removing these eight bolts that go around. That's it, yeah. And wow. there's a quick connect. Beautiful. You pull out yeah. and you replace the motor. Wow. So you can do that to any of the motors and get to them very simply. Are there grease fittings on this? There must be something that there you must are lubricate, a couple right? There through the trailing arm sides, yep. but the front casters, they're seal bearings. This so is sealed, okay, that's sealed. not a fitting, okay. Yeah, there's a bearing on the top and bearing on the bottom, so there's no maintenance through here. 
Um, there's a couple through the back, and it's very low maintenance. Well, that's the system. whole thing about going cordless, you know, gas versus cordless, is it's way less maintenance. Uh, what would be the maintenance hours on something like this? When would you need to bring in information? It's not the blades, but... Well, there's, there's the daily maintenance, the routine maintenance, so yes, please check your blades. Um, if you have grass accumulation, you can blow it off, you can wipe it off, you can dust so it off. Is that information coming through your interface, your dashboard, like it will remind you maybe the blades have been running for 100 hours or 200 hours? Um, from a maintenance minder for the blades, not through that display, it's really on your usage. So if you're going to be cutting heavy grass all the time, you may need to do a more maintenance yep. interval. Yep. If you're doing light, you may not need to do anything at all for quite some time. So it's really up to the pro to decide to when decide. they want to. Are there any idiot, I call it idiot lights when we have on our car dashboard that the red and yellow lights that blink and flash and say service soon with the, yeah, the wrench. Yeah. Are there things built into this that might warn you that there's take there it are, out of service? Fix yeah, it? there are error indications. So if something goes wrong or if maybe a motor goes bad or a wheel or somewhere, that will come in through the error indication on the maintenance screen. Yeah, this is pretty exciting stuff. I, I am. Everything I'm, comes through the display, your whole control side. I'm going to just take a wild ass guess and say this is this is a premium product for pros. I'm going to guess 15,000 maybe north. <laughs> you probably don't have a price yet on it. No, we don't have a target yeah. price set up for it yet. Am I off? I'm um, in the ballpark? Yeah, I, most of your gas mowers are really running in the 15,000 yeah. range, but if you look at the electric side, you're going to go more north. In that north of that, yeah. yeah. What about um, availability? When do you actually see these out and available for people to get? This, this will be coming and next year around summertime summertime next year and, and at honda dealers or are you going to do it how are you going to distribute and buy these sell these these will be through select dealers at the isd side so all of our honda dealers but it should be available um nationwide for most of the products through here all right now we're back with brian here again and we're talking about four different battery powered mowers that you have um geared for pros all the way to maybe the consumer? Or? All the way down to the consumer side. Can yes. you walk us through it and tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so as you see here, these machines may look very similar to what we used to have before. Yeah, they look the this same. This is our residential, this is our HRN, mm -hmm. um, this is our HRX, there's two versions. And then on the far end, we have the HRC commercial side. Okay. Uh, we carried over many of these com common components so the deck is the same as the gasoline power deck. HRN. It's a yep. steel deck. Um, when you go to the HRX, these are neck sight, kind of the plastic decks. Oh yeah, yeah. So you've been familiar with those with the GCV 170 and the GCV 200. Okay. But we basically electrified everything through these products now. Are these similar to the GTR where you plug these in, the battery does not no. come out? Or how does that work? So each one of these, I need oh, to okay. find the battery. So this has a battery compartment, I see. Two batteries. So the difference between a lot of our systems here is we have one model that's one bag. This is the one here on the right. Yeah, I see that's that. That's a single battery. Okay. And this model for the HRX, we offer it in a one bay or a two bay, and that's due to the transmission. The electric transmission will use a two bay, and the battery itself, we have a eight amp battery, and we also have a 12 amp nice. power battery. That's why you got the big plug for it. Yeah. Will it run on one battery, or does it need two? Our feature will go on either battery, any combination. So you can throw an 8 in here, and 8 in here, you can throw a 12, a 12, you can throw a 12 and an 8, 8 and a 12. Brian, matter. are they draw, is the machine drawing from the batteries at the same time or is it no. using one then the other? This is a hot swappable, so it will draw one battery first and then it will go to the next battery. First battery in draws or is there a port that you have to load first? No, you can do anything you want, it okay. doesn't matter. It, we it make gets. it so simple, just put a battery in and start the mower and you're good to go. And then uh, what about features on these things? I see you've got four, actually probably eight, right? Um, height settings? Yeah, all of these are basically running either one inch to four inch or 1.5 to four, so. And you've got, uh, this is what, for the? the we, we use this as collector? a clip. Yeah, this is a clip director, so it can do bagging or mulching just by moving the selector. And for the HRX, that feature's located in the rear. So you go through either bagging or mulching by turning this handle. And I notice on the back here we have uh, two battery indicators. This one has one. Has a single, yeah. It just gives you an indication of where you are in your batteries. Yeah, so if I have, as you saw, the batteries over here on this side, this indicator will come up. Yep. If I have both batteries, both will come up. Uh, blade, are you doing the double blade here? We are. So this is kind of where we started, as you know, from the Honda side. We use a twin blade micro gotcha. system. 
So this is what was carried over to the ZTR. Interesting. But each one of these uses the same blade. Same so blade. Any ISD dealer from Honda, they carry one stocking blade, and yeah. it's good for the HRN all the way to the HRC now. It seems pretty intuitive. If we pull this forward, I'm sorry, sir. If we pull this forward, do we have, um, tell me about the controls. Yeah, so this one includes the e-transmission. So our we use our also our current system, which is the variable speed transmission. Yep. If you're familiar with the I am. shape, yeah, yeah, we yeah. always have had that. Um, we keep the same parameters, but now you always had a two position to start the blade to start the engine. Yeah, yeah. But now this yellow button will actually wake up the motor controller, and then you that pull this back, it? and that starts your blade. It's reverse. That's yes. Yeah. And then as you want to propel. You can use the smart drive system to propel yourself. And this is a throttle or a um, lock? This is basically a, a selector switch. So oh, thankfully. If your hands oh, like nice. to be here, so you can do one hand hands turns want to something. be here, yeah, it's just more of a comfort of where you like to have your hands mounted. But when we go to the e-transmission, it's yep. a different system. There are similarities where we need to two function for the blade. We okay. have to do that because that's regulation. Yep, yep. But now we have a power switch. So if you push the power button. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not supposed to come on. Well, we put the batteries in. Do you want the battery out? Um, no, it's okay right now. So this shows your drive system. And as you move down, there's eight selections. So it's a half dim. So there's eight positions for the drive. And then as you want to drive. It just that, takes off. That will engage the drive. And it's a variable drive. Rear, rear wheel, system. rear wheel oh, yes. uh, propelled. Yeah. Yep. Rear okay. Wheel propelled. Oh, years ago when I was a kid, my dad, I think it was front wheel, right? Did they have a front um, wheel? Never for Honda. Years ago, We've not always, for Honda. Yeah. You know, there are some. I had one at my house that mode. It was gas. Yeah, there power. is a front wheel, but um, uh, we've always had. So this is the plus or minus. This is the power. This is your power. Yep. On off. Yep. And this is a dual start. And that's, that's for your blade system. And then my guess is you can bag or you can let those mulching blades do their thing and let it... That's let part it of the clip director. So if you want to do full mulching, you're in um, this position. It shuts this off. Yes, shuts that off. Or you Which have selectables between there to where you okay. want to go for full bagging in that okay. case. I got you. There's a direction guard inside of there that's directing the clip flows. That's awesome. All right, so we covered these two. Is there any difference in what we're talking about over here? Yeah, when we step up to the next model, so the first one had the variable transmission. Yep. This one is a two bay, two battery, with uh, electric transmission. This goes back to a single bay. Oh, okay. In this case, so it's the same operation. You can use any battery. Same battery. Put yep. it in there, whatever, and function there. But it goes back to our original drive control, so okay. it goes back to a variable transmission. Why? Just a uh, different user requesting it? It's, it's different users and different functions, and it also gives a different price points. I see. Okay, side. you're hitting different price points. Yeah. Would this be geared more towards a professional? Um, this is more towards the prosumer side. Prosumer, okay. Yeah. And that would be pro. Only because of the deck. So it's it's a corrosion-resistant deck. It's a dent-resistant. You can hose it down, not worry about it. You can yeah. hose it down. It doesn't yeah. matter in yeah. that case. So that, that brings us to the 2 kilowatt. Um, Big boy commercial. It says commercial right. Everything water. else was a 1.5 kilowatt motor. Yep. So for the commercial side, we increase it to a two kilowatt. It, it actually feels more sturdier, more uh, pro. We've been design. using this deck this for decades, yeah. literally. Um, we Metal. have a very good reputation from there. It's it's commercial quality, commercial yeah. build. Lift it up onto a truck. Using the same twin blade designs. Nice metal in here too. Yeah. It also has its own separate uh, e transmission that's separate. Oh, from yeah, the right residential. there. Yep. So is that oil filled? That must be. Um, it's oil filled. Yep. Uh, cable driven, a cable control. It looks like you got some cables coming down These here. are all the digital lines coming down from the controls. Yep. It feeds another, again, another two bay system. So, in the same batteries, these batteries are good for the commercial line all the way down to the residential line. And this line. control looks a little bit different. It um, is. It's got there's a battery in there, just FYI. So this one would be start, press, press, same time, Yes, right? this is again the blade control, so you yep. have a one-step motion, the two-step yep. for the blades. This one, the power button is now on the left side. Okay. And also we have a speed Throttle. selection yeah. here, which goes from a min to a max. But in this case, you also have, if you knew from our um, commercial side, this is also a variable speed. So at this nice. minimum travel, you can have a variable speed from here, from slow to fast. Oh, I love that. And then you can increase the range a little more, slow to fast. So you could be all, you could be, you could be buried on the, on the 
on the hair here and you know going and you're running behind the and machine then you can just point. back off it and then make a turn it yes and go back on it That's if right. you want to really these you know, two help set your speed i love speed that speed. i love the two different versions and if you're not as skilled with this you just you know pick the speed and this, go with it. this is kind of normal mowing speed right here if you're transporting it and you need to get back to the truck fast then you go down to a little bit lower side i gotta tell you the first impression of this machine uber uber robust my only feedback would be this. This seems a little bit okay. not up to specs with what I'm seeing on the rest okay. of the machine. Are, are you getting any feedback on this yet? Or uh, not it yet. Damaged? It's probably an easy replaceable part, yeah. but um, the handle fold or does it stay rigid? This handle will fold, but it's this is more challenging. Most, most pros don't want it. They just no. want to put it in and go. They don't that's want to fold it. That's the reason we have this steel support on the bottom, and that's for durability. So yep. if you take this bolt out and you remove this bolt, it will pivot around this center bolt. It will. I mean, it, this machine totally, absolutely reeks of, of robust design yeah. and almost overbuild. So this, this bar here is amazing. Uh, when are we going to see these units and approximately? This will be uh, basically springtime of next year, 2025. Springtime next year, yeah. just in time for our head-to-head. -head. Yes. <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, and, and any idea on the cost yet, or you're still working that um, out? Um, no, they do have the cost. I don't know that off the top of my yep. head because that's a little bit more on the sales matter for me. Okay. But uh, I can get those numbers for you. Yeah, easily. we can. We can so throw. I can throw them in on a lower here. That's right. Awesome. Brian, right. thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you, you for inviting us here to look at these things. Oh, you're this welcome. Is, this has been great. Honda is now entering the realm of battery-powered lawnmowers, and the ZTR is just that blew me away. Seeing yeah. that, that's fun. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care.